Today's introduction to the world of hazmat, uh, basically as a practice, practical scenario that we, we're kind of putting all the pieces together that we learned last week. New to me, just the process of hazmat. I've never, in my career here, I've never really been involved with strictly hazmat incidences. And in today's day and age, you're, they're starting to be a lot more prevalent. And it's something that's a good skill that everybody should have. Uh, what we got is we got level Bs in the gray box, the green ones like you guys used the other day. They come from the technical rescue side of the fire department. They come from the marine side of the fire department at marine firefighting stations. These guys are going to be out there in the field seeing these type of operations, discovering these type of calls, going on these type of calls um, on the land and on the water here. And they can be able to identify what they need to find out and then get up with the hazmat teams. And then also when our hazmat teams are out there in the field, be able to assist them in any operations they are. So they'll have a good idea of how to operate with the teams when they actually get on scene. This can be very manpower intensive, um, and, and what I mean by that is we have to have a lot of folks in reserve to make some of this stuff happen. These incidents um, can be very prolonged, and we have a very short period of time on an air cylinder. Uh, typically, we have an hour bottle we use for hazmat calls, so a third in, a third to work, and a third back out to decon, it doesn't give you, again, much time to do anything. So with that, we have to, again, get some of our folks in our city up to that hazmat technician level that can offensively act with us like we can as hazmat specialists. 